Okay, here's another update after uh, three and a half years of my non-stop running device experiments. And I've been trying to do an update every six months or so on these devices that I built long ago that were built with the idea to run them non-stop, round the clock, daylight, darkness, round the, the months of the year, to see what worked and what didn't work and um, what failed and uh, what broke down with time and sun and everything else. And these are not perpetual motion machines. They're just uh, devices that I set up to run all the time. Uh, most of them are battery powered. Uh, some of them are uh, solar powered with a, a capacitor a type of uh, storage. But uh, the idea was I wanted to know um, what happened to a device over the course of years when it just ran all the time. And um, it's been real interesting. This, of course, was the, the most successful. This is Laser Saber's Easy Spin uh, running on a, two supercapacitors with a transistor circuit and a solar power to gain the uh, light energy during the day. Now, where I live in California, I can get away with this. Some of the people have told me that they've tried to replicate some of these things uh, where they live in northern Europe. And because of the dark months, they can't get these to run around the around the year. But where I live in California, I have enough sunlight that uh, um, I'm getting away with uh, having some of these run with the uh, light energy uh, around the year. Now, the failures on these things and what's causing them to stop is is, is as interesting as what uh, keeps on working. And most of it was bearing failure. And um, through the course of the years, I've broken it down into what works and what doesn't work. And uh, here's one that's got a couple of double A AA or triple A's um, that uh, has a solar panel on it, but uh, the solar panel mutes the amount of energy that it is absorbed. So it's been rather successful. It's just one coil. Uh, here's another one, the same thing with um, no solar panel, just two uh, double A's in there, and this has been running rather successful once I got the bearing issue figured out. Um, this is uh, the one with the sapphire bearing and the um, darning needles that Laser Saber uh, set up uh, long ago, and uh, I had real good luck with that. But um, this was a light here. This is the light that runs on the homemade battery and uh, that was real successful this is just a solar waiver with a triple a battery with a resistor coming off the battery going right into the solar panel and that's been successful um real quick what i wanted to show here though was um this is really a commercial device that does what i wanted it to do run non-stop for years uh, this is a citizen watch that is light powered that runs off this eco drive and i believe they refer to this as a capacitor rather than a battery in that watch they're rather expensive but you can buy them on ebay the battery the solar panel is behind the face and uh, this will run in a dark drawer for months without draining down and i've had uh, this watch for years and years and you can buy these on ebay reconditioned um, I don't know what kind of bearings they're using in that thing, but they sure will hold up. And um, this is an example you might want to study up on how a non-stop running device that's light powered really works. And um, these have been out for many, many years. And you can buy one and just um, observe what happens over the course of years with a device that runs, a mechanical device that runs on light. And it doesn't have to have solar energy, it's just ambient light. Uh, there's another one here I wanted to show that was a major disappointment. And uh, this one here is this uh, yearling motor. That The whole idea of that was to run that for a year on a AAA battery. And it really didn't work. Um, I enjoy watching it. But um, this is my other house, and sometimes I'm not up here for days and days. I come back, it stopped. 
and uh, I don't know whether it's bearing failure or there's too much flex in the structure or what's causing it to not work but uh, I'll start it back up and then it'll run the whole time I'm here I come back it stop uh, sometimes it'll run for months and it'll stop so uh, this is an example of a non-stop running device that uh, looks neat but it really didn't work and um, like I say the idea was to run that for a year on a AAA battery and I had done all the calculations and uh, everything uh, was set up to do that and it just it just didn't really do it you know I have to change the battery uh, from time to time but uh, I might end up trying a lithium battery one of those energizer batteries instead of an alkaline and just see if that will make any difference it might be a voltage drop I'm not sure, but that's one example of a non-stop running device experiment. It was interesting, but it was a failure. Thanks for watching.